In this season about masks and scary things, I'm going to be hunting something real scary right here behind me. Today I'm looking for, and I've found some already, the masked hunter bug. Now this doesn't sound all that scary, but listen to this description from a famous entomologist about the pain it can cause if it bites you. L.O. Howard said, this species is remarkable for the intense pain caused by its bite. I do not know whether it ever willingly plunges its rostrum into any person, but when caught or unskillfully handled, it always stings. In this case, the pain is almost equal to that of the bite of a snake, and the swelling and irritation which result from it will sometimes last for a week. In very weak and irritable constitutions, it may even prove fatal. Whether you think I'm mad or not, I'm gonna try and see if I can handle one with my bare hands. So this last week I got to have a fun adventure looking for some insect pets. I was looking in rotting logs and as I was looking and peeling away the bark, I found these small spider-like, almost crab-like creatures. I wasn't sure what they were. I'd never seen anything like this before. I thought, oh, this is probably something totally harmless. So I'll just go ahead and put that in my hand. Man, I was not nervous at all. I didn't even care about this thing. I was just like, yeah, I'll just poke it and do whatever I want with it because I had no clue what it was. So <laughs> it's best to research before you just start picking things up. But sometimes I just trust that, hey, the insects aren't going to bother me as long as they don't perceive me as a threat. But I didn't know how much this thing could hurt if it did bite me. So I went and researched what this was, and I found out it was a masked hunter bug. After I did that, I thought, hmm, do I really want to go hold this thing again? But I wanted to go and find an even bigger one to show you guys and find some more so you guys could see these awesome insects even though they are a little bit scary. So since I was going to go out and find some more I started looking in the rotting logs and at one point I ran into these wasps. I just very carefully moved this thing out of there and put it somewhere else so the wasps would just leave me alone because I didn't want to mess with them. So at one point I ran into these spider skins that looked like face huggers from those alien movies which kind of creeped me out. While I was looking, I was able to find quite a few of these Tenebrionid beetles, which would make great food for a masked hunter bug. So these guys look almost exactly like mealworms, so I was glad to be able to find some of those. So this is the type of rotting logs that I was looking in and finding them in. Just rotting logs with lots of sawdust and dirt and just gunk in there. Um, they weren't super clean logs, which is perfect for these guys because they want a place that is dry, but also that has a lot of dust and debris and things that they can hide in. So I was finally able to find a small specimen and after I did I decided I was going to put it onto my finger so this is a really small one and I was a little bit more nervous this time getting it on there but he seemed to be quite fine I wasn't too afraid of him. I'm already just imagining the pain. I'm like pretending that is not my hand there right now getting shown with this thing on it. And then I was able to find a large one so I barely even saw him as I was peeling away at this log here and here he is. This guy was awesome looking so and all of a sudden after a while of it sitting there I was looking at the footage and I saw that a wasp walked past him and the wasp just walks right over top of him. He doesn't even move at all which is perfect for his behavior you know just stay completely hidden don't get into a fight unless you absolutely have to which is a great tactic in order to get this big guy into my hand I wanted to get him first on a stick and then once I feel comfortable you know get him onto my hand I don't want to just throw him on my hand and have him bite me but he ended up falling into the grass but I was able to find him pretty easily so I coaxed him uh, after I picked him up off the ground to move on to the stick and then move on to a leaf and from the leaf, I was going to move him to my hand. But before I uh, get to uh, showing what he did on my hand, here he is on the leaf. And just look at how awesome he is. He's just very beautiful. And uh, one interesting thing I noticed is he's got that sticky secretion all over his body except on his eyes. So if you look closely at his eyes, he doesn't have any dust on his eyes. So he can still see perfectly. 
and also on the tips of his antennae he's got chunks of antennae that almost look like just thin wires that he can still use for sensing without having a whole bunch of dirt and other things to kind of clog all of that up. I'm sure his mouth is the same so he can feed without having to sift through all that dust but it's just so beautiful and interesting to look at this thing. I'm glad I was able to get up so close to it. Similar to other predaceous true bugs, they'll take their mouth part and they'll shove that into another insect and then they will suck out the fluids of that insect and that's how they feed. So as always, I'm going to tell you guys, don't try this at home, what I'm about to do, just because I don't want you getting bitten by one of these things. I don't want to put to the test that entomologist's word, so... <laughs> So, there it is. I'm shaking a lot right now. My knees are like killing me. I'm kneeling down and I'm just so shaking. I'm just ready for the pain. I'm really hoping he does not bite me. That would be very painful. I almost just didn't even want to put him on here a second time. He just jumped for a second there and that just freaked me out. Whoa, he's going underneath. My heart is literally racing right now because he's just moving fast scaring me because he's so jumpy. I don't know if he's scared of me or what is going on. I know that these things are nocturnal and they like to. Probably doesn't like to be out in the light. There we go. I'm gonna try and get you to go back to your home, dude. You're scaring me too much. Look, there's your log. Went down. Bye, friend. Thanks for watching this episode. I hope everybody has a happy Halloween. And leave a comment below if you enjoyed this. And like and subscribe to stay tuned next time for all things insects.